Hello to all of you. I'm going to give you some traveling tips or what are the preparations that you need to think when you're traveling outside. If you're going to travel to Philippines, what you need to prepare is e-travel. You could get it in online. You need to get it online and then you need to have a updated QR code. So it should not be every time you travel there, it's new e-travel. So for example, if you're going to travel in today, get it today. Yes, that's for Philippine, traveling to Philippines. And remember that when you're checking in, you only allowed 100 milliliter liquid. So it's, I normally do like, I don't uh, bring any bottle water with me before check in, and then I'll just buy a, I just buy water after I check in. And the gadget, it's not allowed to be in the check in luggage, but it needs to be in a hand curry. So you also need to take it out. And if you have liquids, you need to have this transparent plastic. In most air airports, they provide that, or it's, you know, you could just buy like the IKEA plastic or um, the plastic they use, that you use in your refrigerator, that will do if they don't have it, if they don't provide in the airport. And um, it is also best to do online booking 24 hours before you travel. So because there's uh, always like there's a queue, special queue for those who already did the online booking and those who didn't do online booking or, you know. And then in if you're in Copenhagen airport, we do have those machines where you could print out. It's also, I think it's also in Europe, mostly common in Europe where there's some machines where you could get a booking ticket or the e-ticket where you could just like scan your passport and then type your flight number and then it will give you a um, ticket, e-ticket, you know, where it, where it says there your flight number, your seating, seat number and the time of your trip and sometimes it's also there what what is your priority because there's like priority business class and then priority A to D sometimes or one to four then they will call in time of check-in they will say okay priority or line number one please go in line or line number two or line number or B section you know so they sometimes separate it so you could also find it in your ticket the good thing about having print out ticket comparison compared to the e-ticket that you can have in your phone is that I think it's a lot, it's more convenient, you know, because when you're in your phone, you have like to make sure that you're not low battery to, and then you also have to make sure that you have internet if you haven't downloaded it prior to your checking or prior to your trip. So it's always best to have a physical copy than the one that you have in your phone. Yes, because, you know, sometimes it's not always you could find a place where you could charge your phone in the airport. And um, if you badly needed to communicate during your flight or your trip, uh, connect to Wi-Fi off the airport. Normally, usually, all airports have a free Wi-Fi. You just need to log in, like, you know, provide your first and last name and your email address. Sometimes they also ask for your flight number. And I always have a book with me when I travel because it's always like, you know, when traveling from Denmark to Philippines, it takes about at least 16 to 20 hours flight, minimum 18 hours flight. And it's good to have a book with you if you don't have internet you know, in the plane, but uh, if you, in, in Europe, if you're just, if you're flying in, inside Europe, normally they offer like a five year, 10 euro internet Wi-Fi during the flight, but it's not all flight, they, they do offer that. So, and also I always like, after I check in, I always have like some chewing gum, some candy, some snacks, and then water and sandwich, just in case your trip is not going to offer you food or also when you fly, especially during takeoff, you know, if you have sensitive ear, remember to chew during the takeoff so you don't, 
you so you, you don't get hurt that's why those babies uh, cry because you know they cannot if you have a baby it's good to give them a suit you know like this um suit suiting what do you call that in english yes you know where uh, the one that they suit suit the one that they when they're baby <laughs> So their ear is not going to hurt during the takeoff. Or give them a bottle, milk bottle. So they, they're they like doing something with their mouth. I experience that a lot because I have, don't know, I have problem with my ear every time I take off it. So I always have chewing gum with me or a um, gummy, gummy slick. Yes. That's it. That those are the tips that I'm thinking of sharing with you. Just remember, make sure all your document the document is with you when you're in your hand luggage, your passport, your wallet, your IDs, all your documents in traveling. Like if you need a Schengen visa, if you need a marriage certificate, for example, those who accidentally book, for example, you book with a different last name than your married married name then bring your marriage marriage certificate just to show them okay this is the same person it's me and make sure that you have to make sure that you know the requirements in the country of destination what are the final requirements also with the if you have some stuff over for example in london what airport do they require visa <coughs> Or in other parts of China, if, I mean, Asian, sorry, other parts of Asia, if they require visa, if you're, for example, going out, I did one time, like, go out in China, that's why I'm saying China, because I did one time go out in China, but I didn't apply prior to my trip, but they just stamped it for 24-hour visa because of my flight, so I didn't, sometimes it, it's possible to do that if it's not your fault or... So just make sure that your passport could travel or do stop over in these countries where you're going to stop over. So I wish you have a good travel, smooth, and remember to always hydrate, especially if you're going to warm country. Even in Europe, it's very warm these days. So always hydrate yourself, sun black, sun, sun cream. So remember that and also the sun hot, you know, so you don't get sunburned it's good to enjoy your trip and nothing happened you know like smooth trip and no hassle and no stress and no sickness so bye